Hey guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name's Stan, and welcome to another beautiful construction site. Uh, I got a lot of good comments on the channel. We showed a little bit of our pipe work uh, here on the job site, and I uh, showed how you change directions with a uh, uh, with a pipe rack. And today we're going to take a look at what's behind me. We've got a control panel installed. We've got a pipe rack going up. Now, up on that upper unit spout, we need to go flat with that rack. And I'm going to show you how you do that and uh, make it look pretty cool. Um, my bender of choice is a uh, uh, ideal. Uh, the difference between the ideal and the rigid benders, uh, it's only one major thing. When the handle's straight up on a rigid, uh, it's 30 degrees. When the handle's straight up on a gardener, it's 45 degrees. So uh, 30 degrees is the uh, uh, bend of choice with electricians because the math is easy. And that's the sole reason. Uh, you can do the math in your head for your hypotenuse length. So uh, let's go over to the floor. We're going to lay out all our pipes for our next uh, run in the rack. And we're going to show you the layout, how we lay out, and uh, how we get going the other direction. I'll bring you back. Okay, so uh, we're going to get started. I got my pipes in order uh, as they go in the rack here. Uh, we're going to start by uh, putting them all up with each other one end, and we measured our first one, right here we've got a line, that's to the back of our pipe. All the 90 degree bends are equal to each other, so this is uh, uh, pretty simple to do. Let me grab a, a sharp A. You just lay that across and uh, get all your, this is to the back of the pipe, so all these are going to be the same. Pretty simple, right? All right. Next up, we're gonna we're gonna number them so we don't lose track of where everything goes. And we're just coming down to this end, and, we're, and here's our first one here. And the rest of them are just gonna get up, gonna go in order. Okay. Uh, next up, we're gonna do. The offset form. Our first one doesn't get any offset. That's going to be a zero. And then from there, we're going to do a two inch offset. Our, our pipe spacing is two inches. So we're going to go two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and sixteen. These are our, these are all our offsets when we get up into that upper rack. Now our first one. Uh, obviously the zero doesn't get a bend. We're going to make our first bend at nine inches. In on our, num on our number two pipe. And now we're going to stagger these. So we're going to stagger all these offsets in two inch increments. Okay, so each one of these gets a different offset. This one gets a two inch offset, four inch offset, six inch offset, eight inch offset, 10 inch offset, 12, 14, and 16. And uh, we'll, we'll bend one up and we'll, we'll show you what we're gonna do. It's, it's very uh, monotonous after you get going on it. But you start with your, your smallest number, work your way to your biggest. Um, well, let's, uh, let's do one. We're gonna start with the, with the four, three quarter up front and then we'll do the uh, halves. Uh, um, after that, uh, we're going to use a three-quarter bender. We're going to use the star on a three-quarter. You've got the star and the arrow, which are points of reference. We're going to use the star, and we're going to be bending back towards the direction we measured. We measured from the bottom, so we're going to be making all of our bends back towards uh, uh, where we measured from. So let's get our first one bent. So there you got the tip of your star right to your line. And that one's done. We got no offset on that one. Next one's more of the same. Same 
same thing. Uh, this, this time we need to put a small bend in it. We're using our second line that we created, and this one we need to offset too. So let me get a tape. Now what comes into play is, is on a bender, you'll see this flat section right here. And that's going to index to the floor. You'll be able to feel that. Touch down to the floor. This time we're going to use the arrow. We're going to put it right on our line. So my arrow here is even with my line. And now when I clock my bender over and put a little bit of foot pressure on it, I'm, I'm seeing my pipe over here parallel with the floor. All I'm going to do now is pull up till I get two inches right here. This one isn't much. That's it. But they're progressively going to get bigger as I uh, build this rack. So this is my number two pipe. Let me finish bending this stuff up. And uh, I'll bring it back. I'll show you all of them bent on the floor and we'll show you again after we uh, get them installed and straightened up and looking pretty. Okay, well we're here on the last one. I thought I'd bring you back for that. If you look at this stack of pipes, you can see the way uh, all the offsets have cascaded. Uh, and you, you can kind of get the symmetry of the thing and how it's going to lay out. So uh, let, me get, uh, let me get this last one bent up. And this, one's, this is our last one. It takes a 16 inch offset. We're going to start with the star, as with all of them, and bend back in the direction we measured from. Pretty healthy offset. This is a, uh, a 16. And we just roll that up till we get our 16, and we're happy. And this should fit in our stack just like the rest of them. Okay, so we're in good shape. Uh, let's go get the stuff installed and uh, see what it looks like after we're done. Okay guys, so there you have it. It's pretty simple to do. The layout, just plan ahead, plan your offsets and figure out your pipe spacing and everything. You know, uh, working with pipe isn't that big of a deal. I'm going to shoot some more videos on some other obstacles that you're going to encounter when you run your pipe. This is one of them. We've got uh, uh, some air piping and stuff in our way, so I thought we'd uh, uh, show you how to get around a few things and turn a rack and flat in one direction to flat in another direction. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.